So every organism will eventually die, but then different species can continue to exist on the earth because we have the ability to reproduce. <laughs> Hello, today I will be going through two types of reproduction which are necessary for the continuation of life. So basically these two types of reproduction are asexual reproduction and also sexual reproduction. <laughs> okay, so the key difference between these two types of reproduction is whether the uh, reproductions involve the fusions of gametes like sperms and eggs, okay? So the gametes can be sperms and eggs. <laughs> okay, so for sexual reproduction, uh, fusion of gametes is necessary, while for the asexual reproduction, fusion of gametes is not necessary. Okay, so for the sperms and eggs to fuse together, this process is called fertilization. Okay, so when they have fertilization, they will be fused together to form something called a zygote. And zygote will eventually become embryo. For asexual reproduction, it involves only one single parent, and the single parent carry out a mitotic cell division to produce their offspring. For producing the gametes in the sexual reproduction, um, it involves the process of meiotic cell division. And when the, after fertilization, the zygote becomes embryo, and this involves uh, multiplication of cells, and this is called mitotic cell division. Okay, to form new uh, individuals. As, <laughs> as the cell from asexual reproduction come from mitotic cell division, so the genetic makeup of the offspring should be identical. While that for uh, sexual reproduction because of meiotic cell division and also the random fertilization process, the genetic makeup of the offspring should be different. Examples of asexual reproduction involve binary fission and also vegetative propagation. The details of binary fission and uh, vegetative propagation uh, will be mentioned in other videos. And basically, binary fission uh, can uh, take place in both algae, bacteria, those simple organisms, and vegetative propagation uh, mainly for plants. And examples of sexual reproduction uh, involve a lot of different organisms, and um, including human, of course, and also uh, flowering plants. Okay, so uh, that's it for the lesson. Goodbye class.